Good evening, it is Friday, and I am about to talk to a lot of women. This is one of my favorite subjects. So if you are a fan of Ask Diva, and you have been tuned in since 2010, and you've been over there on Blog Talk Radio, you've been on Spreaker, you've been on Spotify, you've been on SoundCloud, you already know that I stay in this. And if you're reading the books, then you're above all that, because you are actually participating in the words that come out of my mind. So. You're even above the rest of them. If you're new to it all, I am willing to give you the link. It's in my bio on Instagram. You can buy the book, get started. Has a whole list of all the other books. Miss Diva for you. That's how you can find me on IG. M Z D E E V A, the number four, and Y O U. So I'm going to invite some people over. Come chat. I'm going to invite some people over. You guys don't call me. So (laughs) my phone's ringing. Sorry. So come over here and chat, and we're going to talk the issues so three to six million women they declared i just watched the special three to six million women are single three to six million women are not married but not just any women we're talking about my favorite women in the whole wide world we're talking about black women and so there was a lot put into that little dialogue and that little piece and you guys went to steve harvey we do love act like a lady think like a man he is a relationship guru because he he's able to tell you guys from being an ex-player he's able to tell you some things but i'm here to tell you about guys like him that broke my heart so i was able to tell you some things and now I have so much more life experience so I have so much more that I can give to you but guess what all of my secrets are not the reason why you're single and all of my secrets are not going to get you a man so we are going to tell you exactly dead on what you are doing especially I'm going to highlight some of the things that I saw in that special I'm going to talk about some of those things look here there's something that is right in front of you that is the answer to this and you're going to have to reach down really deep and this is not going to happen overnight you're going to have to spend some time with me I dare three to six million women like I said under that post I dare three to six million women to pay me five dollars a session and I promise you that in within six months you are going to be happy and you are going to be in love you've got to you have got to trust me I have women that have been happily married for 10 years by having a conversation with me way before the books way before the podcast way before doing any of this officially this is something that I know this is a gift that I have and many people say it like that I have no idea what it is, but I just know that I'm passionate about it. And some of the people that you talk to and even some of the people that I saw in that video, they're not passionate about this. I am passionate about getting you out of this state of mind of thinking that this single status is where you are going to be. And then those that are 35 years and and above and you're still saying that you've, what did it say? 42% of black women have never been married. What? What? But I can't even act like that's a shock because there are women in my family that are in that percentage. Come on, come on. And they fall under some of the things that I say. Those are the no. You're going to have to get rid of doing that. And when you get rid of doing that, this is where your man going to be sitting right up in front of your face, girl. You are going to be, he put a ring on you. You are going to be so happy. I can promise this to you because this has been something that has worked with every single person that I've sat down to have this relationship talk with that are now happy they are married they have children they're on vacations they are living the life that they desire that they thought 15 to 20 years ago was never going to happen for them there's even some women even soon you know closer than that over the last four to five years that they've said diva if i have never had that conversation girl so uh, trust me this is something i've been gifted with I'm not going to give you everything here because if I gave it all to you here, you wouldn't pay me my $5 and my three to six million women paying me $5. That's going to take the books to the next level. That's what we need. We need a speaking engagement tour where Diva can talk to every woman in every culture in every part of the world, right? So we can't just give it all here on the show, but I am going to give you a lot that's going to make you think that, you know, for the ones that are going to cheat and be like, I'm just going to listen to her. 
and take my little pen and write all this down. And when I write all this down, I'm going to have her secret and I'm going to have me a man like Carl Honey too. I have no idea what you're going to do with that. But we're going to talk about it. So here we go. All right, ladies, so before we get into this, men, feel free to become a part of the conversation. You have participated in the things that are holding them back. So I think because you are such a big part of the reason why they are not married, I do think that you should join in the conversation. So feel free. You guys know how to chat with me. So you can chat with me right now over on Facebook. You can have a conversation with me on Twitter. My little team should be sharing those things with you. So if they are sharing those things with you then you know how to get in contact with me so i can hear your thoughts as well spotify i appreciate you spreaker i appreciate you apple podcast google podcast soundcloud uh youtube am i leaving anybody out iHeartRadio. thank you guys so much for being a part of the ask diva platform thank you for pressing play thank you for listening even if you only stayed for like half a minute I appreciate you because that one little hit takes it to the next level. And those things are appreciated daily. So don't ever think that I don't appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the question started out on the special and was asked to the ladies or of the ladies, just kind of thrown out there. Three to six million black women are single. 42% of black women have never been married. So the question was asked, are their standards too high or are the pickings too slim? Here's what I think about both of those things. Your standards being too high and the pickings being too slim have literally less to do with the reason why you are single. Those are great stats and that's good to just kind of lay that on the table so that you can go with the general thesis statement on this topic, right? But that's just about all that it is. There is something that is so much more deeper than your standards being high because you have been taught this mindset of this particular amount of women that have, you know, given you these, um, areas of this is you know uh what do they i guess they tell you so they probably have told you you know in order for you to be considered success in order for you to be considered somebody you're going to have to raise the bar and you're gonna have to say no to this type of guy no to this type of guy and so they gave you this really strict list and they did not allow you any room to even just step away from that because the moment that you stepped away from it you're going to become your your high school friend that got pregnant and she dropped out right so they gave you like all these sick the sad thick scenarios and they they implanted all these thoughts into your mind so that you are really not sitting in what makes you happy you're sitting in what makes the women in your family in your environment happy you haven't even stopped to really consider what makes you happy You are only thinking about the things that you were taught that don't you ever allow this type of guy in your life and you have not even tried to move that bar to the left or to the right at any time because you feel like you are less of a successful woman if you dare allow that type of person in your life. But what they didn't teach you are the things about life. Let's just start with the most recent topics. The exonerated five. They didn't teach you that the guy that might be a good guy that could come out and be a good husband and have what? One of them has like eight to nine children and he's a really good man might be locked up in a system that lied on him. Right? But because you were told, don't you ever deal with a man that went to jail, been in jail, knew of jail, walked by jail, worked in a jail. Like you you were given this whole list of things not to deal with. And so somebody else is too late. It's too late. Somebody else already got that man. I think she got like eight or nine children with him. You see what I'm saying? But because you are passing by men every day because of this strict list that you have and on that list you guys have been told that you can't deviate deviate away from it and when you do then you are going to be allowing the bar to lower your standards are going to be lowered and 
you are going to be um, just um, settling. That's what you guys say all the time, that you're going to be just settling, right? So here's the thing that I say about this. In the special, they said the odds of a black man you know being available here's the, uh, some of the things that are out there the, the men that you have to choose from you know the maybe particularly available men um are on this list of no high school diploma no job 25 to 34 percent or something like that are incarcerated so they gave you all these kind of lists what they didn't tell you in those lists that a lot of those men are being set up. A lot of those men that are without the jobs are going out there grinding every day trying to get the job in their black skin and they giving it to Bobby Joe. You see what I'm saying? So Bobby Joe come from the trailer park. He gonna get the job before the black man get the job. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So it may not be that he's not trying to get a job, sweetie. It probably is the community that he's in, the, the area that he's in is resisting his black skin showing up on the job so you get what I'm saying there's like a lot of room you can't lump people in a category and say nope he doesn't have a job so he not for me next you know like a man not having a job sweetie doesn't make a break whether or not you can fall in love with him you're trying to please the people around you who are you trying to be in a relationship the relationship with the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with that you want to get to know that you want to build you know memories with are you trying to be in a, a relationship with sister strawberry and auntie cookie and all those different people that are speaking in your head trying to tell you how to live your life then you got to think about some of the black mamas out there some of the black moms stay so hard going hard in your head telling you that you're too good for most of the men that are in your community that they're forcing you into this single and then you're hitting your late 30s and your 40s walking around with your nose up in the air because you too good for all the dudes that's up in your community and mama just clinging on to you because she really just don't want to let you go sweetie she just doesn't want to let you grow up and get your own life mama's so engrossed in becoming who you are that she's not even allowing you to breathe you saw that in the little movie Napoli Ever After right so so that is that the kind of person is that the person that you're really out there trying to to get the approval from because if you're spending all your energy trying to get with the guy that everybody's going to approve from approve of you're not attracted to this dude you're not attracted to marriage you're not attracted to getting out of the single life you just want to sleep with your your mama I'm just saying, or you you, you want to lay up with your auntie? Like you you know you are far from worried about living your own life when you are engrossed in getting the person that they approve of. I know that's extreme, but that's what I do. Hashtag guys diva. So here's the thing here. So it's it, they also said in the special. Okay, right. So they talked about the, you know, the the guys out there. And he doesn't. This is what they love. And it was hard for me to listen to this special with a white woman telling me what a black man ain't capable of. You know, so I tried to stay to the end of the special until Steve Harvey got in there and told y'all y'all were fine. And then I just had to press pause for a second. But this is the deal. The no high school diploma, no this, no job, no this, no that, no that. Those are subliminal messages that the media and everyone likes to put out there about black men to make you think that they're not good enough. And then they have the audacity to try to push the agenda of maybe you need to think out the box and go get yourself a white man. That And, and I'm not telling you that that's wrong because I have a white son-in-law. But for you to, I, I used to tell my daughter, let's talk about that for a moment. Ma, I just wanted, I, I wanted, I'm attracted to white dudes. I want to marry a white guy. I love, um, what was it, Twilight, and she was team one by somebody, Edward or somebody. So she was all that, right? So, and black men are this and black men are that. And so I sat all of her friends down one day and I told them, I said, let me tell you something. I have no qualms with you guys wanting to date outside of your race. That's, that's ne- neither here or there with me. But what I will not allow a black woman in my household 
told to do is you're not going to put down black men because you're attracted to the other. If you're attracted to the other, run your ass out there and get the other. That go, that's not the here or there with me. But you're not going to put down black men because that's your choice. You get where I'm coming from? So I don't like the subliminal messages out there that especially if you watch that special with a woke eye, if you watch that special with a woke ear, did you have the audacity to put a special out there to say that three to six million black women are single and are never going to get married because our black men are no good? You can miss me with that. I don't know if that was NBC, ABC, who gives a fucky. I do not like my black men being put out in that kind of light so if you're going to tell a woman that she needs to think outside the box because all of the juices and berries of relationships are mixed in another culture you can do that and that's fine but you're not gonna put down our black man in the process okay diva pull back pull back diva came back all right so here's another thing so the women said the women said um that they, they, this is what they're looking for. The characteristics that they're looking for in a man. They're looking for a man that's honest. They're looking for a man that's stable. The one that has chemistry. And if he, and if he don't look good, she said, and flipped her hair. If he doesn't look good, I am definitely not talking to him. And the one that said that, she really wasn't all that cute. So here's the deal. An honest man. The representative, I've been telling you guys about the representative since 2010. So I'm not going to leave that topic, right? I'm not going to be diva if I get out there and I don't give this to you, right? So the representative, sweetie, the representative is an honest bastard. That Negro is going to show up and be the most honest piece of shit that you've ever met, okay? So an honest person, no, baby, you're not going to just sit around waiting your entire life for that person that's going to just be super honest forever to show up because you're never really going to know what's the real deal there are some men that are manipulators and when they heard your list they wrote it down and now they're going to be stable pretending honest pretending chemistry they can fake that looks they know how to get botox for that you get what i'm saying like they, these guys know how to go out there and be what you want because you put your dollar size all up there your success all up there and so they know how to go and paint the picture and another thing that the girls talked about was they have to have chemistry i gotta be where i can lay up with here because i can't lay up with here it's not for me so you horny that's wrong that's what that's number one when you get in my sessions the first thing that i'm gonna pull you back from is your horniness you cannot find what's for you if you're thinking with your cooch diva said is she not scared those are facts you cannot find a man thinking with your cooch okay so we're not gonna have an old educated response putting some educated terminologies to make you feel comfortable we're gonna just put it out there thinking with your cooch laying up on saturday night hitting the pulpits and you know getting on your little rusty knees and praying about how you on your knees doing things differently the night before you're not gonna just keep doing that every sunday your problem is you're laying up in secret trying to put this persona up that you're so single but you know you're on tinder and and um give me another one not something um uh, plenty of fish and um you know you know you're on a, 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 a black planet i don't know i'm just so off of that the dating game thing uh black people me you know you're on all them sites and 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 allowing the manipulative type of guy to come in in the middle of the night and then one girl said and then they they just keep us around what did she say we're like the back we're like the back pocket and, and i call that the justin the jic the just in case you're allowing that sweetie just in case your mama never told you you need to hold off you need to sit and get your kegel on you need to sit back and just relax you don't need nothing up in you and if you do girl i know a girl that sell you something that will make your bed shake like an earthquake you understand what i'm saying you don't need to let these dudes up in you while you wait for mr him 
Because that's the reason why you can't find them. You're so caught up in these many marriages. Did we not talk about that on my show before? You're so caught up in these little mini relationships that you're allowing when dude can call you once a month and the other dude can call you once a month. And so can old boy. And then the dude from your office, he can call you too. And then the delivery guy, he got that number too. And he can call you in the middle of the night. And you guys about 12 months laid out of dudes. And you're talking about you can't find nobody. That's because you're allowing them little secrets in. And I know you got that persona out there. You're like, Diva, who do you think you are i have a good job baby i have a good position and that is not the way that i carry myself yes it is and half the dudes in the community will raise their hand quietly and say i hit that so that you're lying you see what i'm saying so you're lying and these are things that i talk to men i have friendships with men they tell me how they're getting away with this all the time you guys are allowing it so Think it with your cooch, lay it low, spread the wide. That's another reason why you have not found the one for you. One girl said she hasn't been in a relationship since the one that she had who was for her forever long relationship in college. Girl, I got a book for that too. Reason she's excessive over a man. I need you to pull back. That is over. There is no the one that got away. There is no one, you know, person that, you know, you were able to hold on to and you have this wonderful memory of him. Sweetie, that wonderful memory of you, of, that you have of him is a facade that's playing in your head like a movie over and over again, blocking you from seeing the other great men that are out there because you're so caught up in this dude from college who is not even like he's not even like he was in college anymore girl he laying up with different dudes every night like he been so over being with you like you know what i'm saying like you just need to move on like i can't stand for chicks to hold on for decades i really because I put a book out there and I laid it out for you guys and it has worked for many women, they have put that book in their pocket and they have been moved on and moved into successful relationships after reading. So your heart's been broken. Please get over it. After they read that book, they read the little guidelines. Diva, you know what? This is it. And they read it and they understood. You don't pawn over a dude 10 13 14 15 20 years no no there's no happiness in that he is so over he was over you the last time he hit it when he said can i hit it before i tell you goodbye and you let him you get what i'm saying so he been over that like you need to move on as well right so then there's another thing that you guys said um the things that you guys were talking about on your list those are not the barriers that you all assume that they are. You need to try to get to know people where they are. Meet them where they are. And 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 you if you really have a good eye, you can see the potential in the right guy, right? Now I'm not telling you to let him sit down on 6th Street in Austin, Texas with his guitar case open and letting people put dollars in, strumming that little sorry ass song that he swear gonna make it one day. I am not telling you that that's what you have to settle for for a long time, but even though, cause that musician might become the next black, you know, plug. So I'm just saying, like, you never know. So you never know who those people are going to become later in life. So you can't just be sitting up there putting these these block these blockings and these you can talk a lot so these blockings and these barriers up so you you can't do that i'm sorry I'm, honey's huh oh yeah so you know so you can't be putting all those kind of barriers up honey's like okay you need to stay on topic stay on topic and i am but i'm just telling you like you just never know where a good guy is so just because he is the manager at amazon warehouse at night and he's not making your hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year that doesn't mean that he's not gonna buy amazon next year boo you have no idea what a person's story is and i've i've heard so many women so many times that you know i'm I'm even guilty i told you guys about that in my first book great sex is not love and never will be i told you how i let an architect i let an architect go go, ladies i let an architect go and i'm not saying that i am not happy with the things that came behind that because i love 
my man. I love my man that I have now. He is for me, you know, and I know that we have a, a life that is like, wow, life is just always doing you know, th- there's a law of attraction thing that I want you guys to understand too, but that life is always going in the direction that it's supposed to go if you just allow it, right? But yeah, I let an architect go. So if I was looking at the list that you you all have that you listed out there to Steve Harvey and the lady that was putting black man down, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep calling her out on that. So when you go, when I look at that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was not supposed to let an architect go building that buildings are nice all over Dallas. I wasn't supposed to let that go, right? But I don't live by those standards. I, I just don't live by them. And th- I'm not saying that the women in my life that were raising me didn't try to sort of push that kind of agenda. But at the same time, I had a powerful male figure in my life. My father was powerful. And my father is is just the epitome of what I'm trying to say here. My dad, he ran his own business. He had a sixth grade education. And that was the best man my mama ever ran up on. May he forever rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? So you never know. Because if, if are you looking for riches? Are you lo- If you're looking for a rich man, I heard that Houston, Texas is popping with the sugar daddy lifestyle. So if you're just looking for a rich man, get your ass down there to go to Houston and get a sugar daddy. If you're just looking for status, sugar daddy's all over the place throwing mansions out there and, and, and sports cars and dollars through your titties and bras. Like they do it all that. So you can just go get a sugar daddy. If you want to be rich, you guys said you want to be married. You said that you uh, don't want to be single anymore. So if we're addressing not being single, and we, if we're addressing being married, it has nothing to do with riches, boo. It has nothing to do with riches. He needs to have that one gift, and I'm not going to tell you till you pay me my $5 sessions. I take Apple Pay. So here's the thing, you guys. This girl also said that we have a black girl curse. You're not, you're not, you are not going to enter a diva's platform and think that I'm about to entertain another subliminal message that has been put out there by the white woman. You are not going to think that the white women that raised the grandmothers, that raised the black women to tell their black daughters that there is a such thing as a black girl curse. You are not about to do that on diva's platform. There's no black girl curse. We're cursed with good looks. We're cursed with smarts. We're cursed with the audacity to tell somebody, girl, don't come to me with that black girl curse. There is no black girl curse. That's a subliminal message that you have been put, that has been put in your mind and your mother allowed the white master or your grandmother allowed the white master to to say that over and over for years to the point where she actually had the audacity to go in her home and raise her daughters with that being a thought. There is no black girl curse. Erase that. Black girls rock. That's our curse. We rock. We hard. We, 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 We go hard in the paint. That's what's wrong with us wrong quotation marks so i didn't teach my daughters that i didn't teach my happily married daughters that i did not teach my 28 and 27 year old happily married got children living their best lives daughters that i never taught them that there was a such thing as a black girl's curse that was not said in my home so the women that are saying that in their home, you're destroying black women. You are destroying them. You are creating single women. You are creating the type of women that will never get married. You don't tell them that there's a black girl curse. I, I didn't got mad. We're going to have to pull back. So there's no black girl curse. Don't ever, don't, don't, don't bring that to my black, to my platform. There are people that put out subliminal messages that make you think that you're cursed. They make you think that there are barriers. They make you think that you can't bust the ceiling wide open. And I am here to let you know that there is no curse. There is just more energy that you need to put in you to knock them out one by one. Just like little bowling pins, just knock them down as you walk past with your queen hat on. There is no black girl. I'm sorry. This does Mary J. Blige have the black girl curse? I'm sorry. Does Beyonce have the black girl curse? Does Oprah have the black girl curse? I, I, I could just, I think my list could just go on. Does Regina King have the black girl curse? Um, does Sally Berry have the black girl curse? I'm sorry. I'm the list going to keep going. So I didn't teach her that to my happily married 28, 27 year old daughters having their families, living their best lives now. I didn't teach them that. There's no curse. There's no barrier. Happiness. 
it's there's you can reach it and there's a secret and I can tell you how to get to it. There's this one little term that I taught my children, that I taught their friends. That I, that I spread to my friends. There's just one little term that if you know it, you'll get it. When I tell it to you, I'm not going to tell it to you for free. Go Apple Pay. PayPal me. You know, and then I'm going to tell it to you. I, but I raised my children on it. But I'm not going to tell it to you. You have to buy a book. You'll see it in the book. Um, it definitely is in three or four of the books. Or you're going to have to Apple Pay me. PayPal me. Zelle me. Is there another app? Cash at me. Go fund me. Okay, that's enough. Can't just give it all out for free. So then there's also this. There's one more thing that she said. Um, yeah, so the lower your standards, I just I just want to go back to that. That's a, that's a message. When you accept a man that may not have everything on your list, the rudest thing that you can say to the man that almost put a ring on it is that I know what my stand is trying to be with you. Bish bye. Like if he don't say it, I said it. Bish bye. Like he should have told you that. He doesn't deserve to be told that. So you've been taught these nasty. Just listen to the terminologies. You can already tell that didn't come from black women. You could just hear white nasty racist women dropping from it. I lowered my standards to be with you. That just sounds like a nasty white racist woman. Don't sound like a. Don't be a nasty white racist woman. Don't be a Becky. Okay. So that, that's just what that. That's exactly what that sounds like. Who do you think you are, girl? He lowered his standards when Beyonce walked by him and wanted him, and she chose. Jay-Z who do you think you are you need to bring it down a notch bring it down. I'm not telling you not to be confident but nasty is not confident hashtag nasty is not confidence it's not I'm sorry if anyone told you that that's the route to confidence. I'm sorry if anyone told you that that makes you better than anyone else. I'm sorry if anyone gave you that thought that walking around with that persona makes you anything. All you do, all you're walking around with is a degree and a nice job and a nasty attitude that no one wants to be around. He didn't come, he didn't put a ring on it. Girl, that doctor didn't put a ring on it because he went and chose a lowly maid working at the hotel hell because she had a better attitude sweetie she wasn't so full of herself she wasn't clicking off checking off all of her accomplishments and she wasn't telling him that you're not even good enough i could have got dr so-and-so she wasn't talking to him like that so that's the reason why he went and chose the broke girl not your rich ass so i mean i'm just trying to let you guys know that you when you're walking around with a nasty attitude and you're thinking that you're too good for the majority of men that are out there and available and them fake ass numbers let me tell you something about the fake ass numbers that they just gave you they gave you numbers from a prison system that's it A system that tries to lock men up for the most foolish of things. A a, a system that says, you know what, if you get behind on your child support, lock them up. How are you going to lock up the man that need to make a check? Because all the chick is doing is sitting on welfare. She's not trying to go get a job. So you lock him up. Now the kid's really going to starve. Because when she out, you know, grow out the system or whatever, then she doesn't even know how to apply herself to go work somewhere. And now the children are going to go through because you locked him up. So when they do those numbers for you in the prison system, go over the stories behind the numbers in the prison system. I'm, I'm telling you, the subliminal messages that get put out there about black men, Mm. And then when they, they when 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 there's a no good nasty dude like he just like trash from trash trash they put him up on the highest pedestal and act like he the best thing ever popping. Those are the black men that you talk about, the ones that are out there trashing women, running through women, taking their money, moving in their homes, bringing the side chicks in the home while you at work with that fancy six figure job. Those are the men that people don't talk about. But you know on my platform. I talk about the bad men all the time. But the men that you categorize as bad. Are not bad men. You're putting them there because of status. 
that your auntie strawberry told you about you know and and that's just something that you guys you you have to get past that so i have more i have so so much more but i do need you guys to weigh in on the conversation so we're going to talk about this what are some of the things that you were told that you could these are deal breakers And you cannot deviate away from these deal breakers. And let's go over your deal breaker list. Because sometimes the things that are on your deal breaker list, when I break those things down, you will find that those are mindsets that were put inside of you. You were classically conditioned to think a certain way. And you need to undo some of those things because those things are not the things that become a happy wife. Those things are not the things that makes that 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 makes you that puts you in a category of being chosen for a life ever, happily ever after. You guys get where I'm coming from? So when I see women, and and I and, and some of the women that I see, and I'm just going to call you out because you're on my timeline putting your business up there. So, you know, I put my business up there. You guys run your mouth about it. So let's run my, let me run my mouth about yours. You're talking about your single. I'm single and I don't know. I can't find no good man. Oh, I'm dating him. I love him. He everything. Two weeks later, I'm single. I can't find no good man. Oh, I'm dating him. I love him. Through two weeks later, I can't find no. You get where I'm coming from? You guys, 12 months out of the year, I watch you for three years in a row sometimes. And you run through this dude. And then that's another thing that you guys do. I don't put a guy on my social media until I think this could go somewhere. When you make it to my social media page, bro. When you make it to my social media page, bro. No, I'm joking. But like literally, when you if you make it to my social media page, this has potential. This can see forever. But there's a secret that I have. I'm going to talk about that. I can't talk about it on here because I almost gave you guys a secret. And you have to pay me for that secret. But there's something. There's something about that. But I can't tell you that part. Honey knows the secret. I'm not going to tell them because I think I I need them to reach out to me and trust me and and utilize what I'm gifted with. And let's just start allowing me to be a part of a world that always blocks me out because they don't want to hear my extremes. But my extremes have been taught to women that are living their best lives. Like I have friends that have the best husbands like and these are men that they were like "Mm -mm, I'm walking away and I had to sit down and have a conversation with them 10 to 20 years ago and men that they almost walked away from maybe some even five years ago men that they almost walked away from they are with now and they are happy they have children they are living good lives like coupled up booed up booed up so it can happen but I'm not gonna do it for you on the platform you're gonna have to read you're gonna have to pull you got to, you're going to have to go a different direction with that. I'm not just going to give it to you on here. So there's a lot that's happening in your environment in the people that you're allowing around you. Have you ever just taken a season and pulled back from all those voices? 39,000 girl trips a month. Have you ever just had like zero of those? Like you just need to pull back from all those. You even maybe need to not even go to church. They can miss your tithe, girl. Six figures a year. They got some other six figure sisters up in there. Like just pull back from everybody so that you can just hear your own thoughts. And when you hear your own thoughts, you may be like, why my Auntie Strawberry tell me that? That's not what I think. You may discover that. You may discover that. But while you got Auntie Strawberry Sister Cookie all up in your head, girl, you're never going to be able to get your mind and decide what you like and what you desire. Because what you are really after, you better make sure that that's what you settle for. Because if you just settle for the guy that they send your way because they think that that's perfect for you, you may be miserable, you may be Chris Watts' wife. How many people, raise your hand in the room if you want to be Chris Watts' wife. Because if you really knew like who that was, you wouldn't even want that, right? So that was a man who had it all the way together, who had a beautiful home, who had what seemed like the perfect life for her. And as we saw unfold in the media, this dude was horrific, horrific had a side chick kept the chick all out in the open at his job 
And when that no longer worked for him and he got home one day, oh, however, whenever, how many days unfolded but behind it, his wife gets pregnant. He can't handle it anymore. Not only did he murder his wife with her pregnant belly, he murdered the two daughters that came down running to find out why he was murdering mommy. So do you really just think that having a rich guy with a good job is all that it takes? You better get your instincts together. You better get, become a little bit more aware than the perfect guy. That's a movie they need to go watch as well. <laughs> the perfect guy is the perfect movie to make Diva's perfect point right now. So that's it. So let me tell me what you guys think. Give me some feedback. I can't wait to listen to you. Thanks, Cruise Inc. Radio, for having me on their platform. Hopefully, you guys will invite this to your platform. I think it's a great topic. Three to six million. Black women are single, and no, it is not because of the black men. So I am here to tell you what it is. All of you have individual stories, so I'm not going to give you no one solution. You're going to have to inbox me. You're going to have to utilize what I have, and I'm going to have to ask you for a donation because it's just okay. Just work a 40-hour week and then do this for free. All your problems laid in my lap and just, just sit up there and do that for nothing. I can't do it. So inbox me and I'll talk to you about it. We're going to talk about your situation, not generalized numbers thrown out into the universe, trying to put subliminal messages in black women's heads that there's a black girl curse. Don't, 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 don't come for me. Don't, don't, don't do that. I felt like the whole news media that let that story leak came all the way for me. Uh, We're not doing that. So we're going to talk about this another way, but I need your individual story. So you're going to have to inbox me. Miss Ziva for you. M-Z-D-E-E-V-A, the number four Y-O-U. If you have this long drawn out thing and you don't want it on social media, you can feel free to send me a personal email. This will remain anonymous between you and I. Say it with DTV at gmail.com. So that's S-A-Y, it, I-T, W-I-T-H, D-E-E-T-V at gmail.com. So you can do that as well, and we will get to talk, and the letters get thick up in there. But I'm here to make you comfortable wherever you, you know, you may not want your side dude that you decided he's really not good enough for you to read it, so you might not want it on your, in, you know, in your DM. So I understand that, you know, and those are the things we're trying to work on. So hit me up. Thank you, Spotify. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, SoundCloud. Um, did I leave any, any other platform? I think I'm leaving so many of them out. So like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, iHeartRadio. I think I said that. I appreciate you. And Cruise Inc. Radio as well. So I appreciate all of the platforms that are allowing me to let my story be told not really but just allowing me to be on there so hashtag askdeva a-s-k-d-e-e-v-a that is the facebook page you can find it just like that just get in your search engine hashtag a-s-k-d-e-e-d-e-e-v-a d-e-e-e-e-e like all that and then you'll find it no hashtag a-s-k-d-e-e-v-a you will find me on facebook that way you will find me on spotify that way you will find me on iHeartRadio that way you will find me on youtube that way i am on the social media platforms that way you can find me on twitter that way i am on instagram so all those places click the links in the bio and purchase the books you're going to get so much from that as well thanks everybody for giving me a moment on your platforms and 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 to be able to listen to you um to for you to stop and to listen to me i appreciate you i always like to say thank you because the opportunity is always there because of the people that will press play and listen right Thanks, and everyone have a great night.